Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am throwing it back today with a good old-fashioned speed paint video or speed draw, I guess. Speed ink? Anyway. I am so excited to be sharing this video with you guys, finally! Um, and let me give you a little bit of background on what I'm doing. So, for those of you who don't know, I actually work with Palette Packs, which is an art subscription box, and I make videos for them twice a month on the Palette Packs YouTube channel, which I will have linked in the description below. But basically, I get sent their boxes, and then I open them, and I try them out. Uh, a fun fact, my best friend in the whole wide world, Hello Alice, um, also makes these videos for the Palette Full Packs channel. Um, so definitely go check it out if you want extra videos from both me and Alice. But I love making these videos, and I love working with Palette Full Packs. Genuinely, this video isn't sponsored by them, by the way. I just wanted to... I wanted to one show this process and to just kind of like give them a shout out but they're honestly the best art subscription box like company I've ever used and I love all their boxes um, <laughs> the sketchbook and the pencil that I'm using and the materials that I use later the dip pen um, those are all that <laughs> Those are all materials I got from Palette Packs, so I genuinely use like all of their art supplies all the time. Anyway, they reached out to me and they were like, hey, we want to do something super special for the February box and we want to print sketchbooks with your art on them. Would you be interested? And I was like, um, yes. So what I did was I designed a sketchbook and this is that art and they printed it on a cool sketchbook and now I have a, a sketchbook with my art on it and it's super cool. I will show you guys the finished sketchbook at the end of this video so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I was just super jazzed and uh, I'm just, I'm really happy with the end product. I'm happy with the sketchbook and I hope that everyone who got the palette full packs is happy with it too because I am so excited. Um, but it was just a really cool experience and I just, yeah, I want to give a shout out to Palette Full Packs for being super, super awesome. Anyway, um, I promise I will not gush about Palette Full Packs the whole video, um, so let me talk a little bit about the actual art. I had no idea what I wanted to make for the sketchbook cover, um, and Palette Full Packs, they were just like, you know, make whatever, like, the only stipulation was it had to be uh, drawn in pen because we got pens in the February box. So I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to draw. So uh, what I did was I scrolled through Pinterest for a while and then I kind of have like a method for coming up with ideas when I don't know what to draw. And sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. But what I will often do is maybe I'll scroll Pinterest or Instagram for a while just to kind of like get some some aesthetic ideas in my brain and then I will just take my pencil and put it to my sketchbook and start sketching. I find that if I sometimes if I think too much about what I want to draw or like push myself too hard to come up with the concept. Um, I tend to get stuck in my own head and I get anxious about it and then I start to doubt myself. So I find it's actually better to kind of turn my brain off and just kind of let my hand do what it wants to do and just sketch randomly until eventually um, a concept will kind of come out of that mindless sketching. Now, like I said, sometimes this works and sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes I will sketch and sketch and sketch and I'll just get more frustrated and more anxious and I'll start to like feel bad about myself and when that happens I know it's actually time to take a step back, put my pencil down and be like, okay, I tried, I'm going to step away and do something else and maybe I'll try again later today or even I'll try again tomorrow, but uh, there's sometimes when I need to step away. But luckily, uh, this day that I drew this was not that day, and I loved the concept they came up with, which was a like fawn girl, um, and she has like this pretty, like really curly, flowy hair, and I was just like, all right, let's go with that. <laughs> 
What I did then was I took the sketch into Procreate and I lowered the opacity, I changed some of the details to make it exactly how I wanted it to look, and then I printed that out on a piece of watercolor paper, and then I took my dip pen and my Winsor & Newton India ink and I started inking. I have fallen in love with using a dip pen again, and again that's thanks to Palifull because we got dip pens in I think it was the October box, but I actually used dip pens a lot uh, when I first started this channel. If you go way, 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 way back, um, you'll see some art of me using dip pens, um, but then I stopped using them for a while. Um, I think that's because I I wasn't quite using dip pens the correct way and I was actually breaking them a lot because I was too heavy-handed so I stopped using them for a while um, but then I got them in the palette full packs and I was like all right let's give this another go and uh, I absolutely love them there's something so special and so therapeutic about using a dip pen um, and I love using like regular pens in general too like there's uh, I just there's something so magical about like line art and um, ink work but there's something super, super, super special about dip pen um, and using that to make art. So I loved, I just loved working on this. I love the finished piece and it's just, this piece gave me really good vibes. Um, and it was just a joy. So uh, dip pens, they can be really challenging for people. So um, <laughs> I found out that I, like I said, I was too heavy handed with the dip pens and I just, I wasn't quite sure how to use them. Um, so if you would like to give dip pens a go, I definitely recommend it. They're super fun, um, but do keep in mind to, just keep in mind that dip pens are a little bit more fragile than maybe micron pens. Um, if you put too much pressure on the pen, the nip will actually split and then you'll get the thing that happens where you make a line but it actually makes two lines because the dip pen nib is like too far apart. Um, and that's like, that's what kept happening to me and I got so frustrated and I was like, I don't want to use this anymore. Um, but if you use a really soft hand, um, it just goes so much more smoothly and you don't need like a heavy hand to use the dip pen too because the ink just flows out of it just so easily and oh it's just so nice i love it i love that you can get such delicate fine lines with the dip pen um especially because this one is a very very fine dip pen and something i love to do with line art is to make like hatching and cross hatching and add these tiny little details all over the piece. Like you can see I did that a lot on the face and with the ears and of course with the hair. I love to add tiny details with the hair. Hair is probably one of my favorite things to draw, if not my favorite thing to draw. Um, that and plants. Um, but it's just I love making those tiny little, tiny little lines and adding just so much detail. It's so, like I said, just absolutely therapeutic. I totally got lost in this piece, which is always a really good feeling when you're just so in the zone and you don't even realize that like hours and hours have passed. Um, and those moments are really rare for me um, in this time of, you know, being stuck at home. So. It was really awesome to have that experience that I don't quite have that often anymore. But anyway, you can see I'm also like here, I'm adding more kind of like hatching and cross hatching. This is a great way to get more depth in your piece because um, depth is a little bit hard to achieve when you're using pen because you don't have like color, you know, to, to help add depth. So adding like texture and little hatching, cross hatching, stippling, all those techniques are a really good way to get that depth and get that kind of visual interest. So highly recommend that. I also want to take a little opportunity to check in with you guys, see how you guys are doing. Um, I know I've been making like a lot more vlogs recently and I haven't quite been making as many art related videos. Um, but that's just because my mental health has not been in the best place and my art is so heavily tied to my mental health so it's extremely hard for me to create when I am in a depression. Um, 
and I try to be very frank about that. Um, I try to talk to you guys about like kind of like what I'm experiencing so if anyone else is experiencing it you don't feel so alone. So I would like to take this opportunity to check in with you guys and see how you're doing. How are you doing during this this time? Uh, how are you holding up? I know for me personally it's it's like I can see the end in sight but it's still far enough away that it's I still feel very much um, isolated and lonely and it's like it's so close but so far away and that's kind of causing me a little bit of distress but um, I'm doing the best that I can. I luckily have been seeing my psychiatrist. We've been doing online visits so it's good to be able to check in with a mental health professional which I highly recommend if you guys need help. Um, talking to a professional literally saved my life and maybe it can help you too. So anyway, just wanted to check in. How are you? How are you doing? That's how I'm doing. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, this is the final piece. Here is the sketchbook. Again, I'm just so, 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 so happy with how it turned out. I've already i uh, done a little few sketches in it, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video, and again, go over to the Palletful Packs channel, see what we're all about, um, and definitely send them your love as well. And that's gonna be it for me today. Uh, thank you guys again, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye guys!